tonight we have for you a brand new True Stories. I think the music game is that it's at it's at one of its worst points, mm -hmm. and I say financially that financially or creatively, not, fi or not financially. The money's just going to different places now. Yeah. That's why people might say it's fucked up financially. It's just yeah. because the dudes who was getting it yeah. ain't getting it. Yeah. Now you got that dude sitting behind the computer that's getting it. Now you got the dude that owns the iTunes that's getting some of the money that this dude would have got. Yeah. So some people would be like, "Yo, it's fucked up financially," but it's not. The money's still there. It's just shifted to different areas. All right. But the reason why I say the game is fucked up now is because. The people that's in power, when I say that, I mean like the people who kids listen to and the people that the majority listen to, they're, they're actually filling people's head with the thought that like, yo, everything's cool. Like, you know what? You get in this game, you make a hit, you become a million and you live good for the rest of your life when that's the farthest from the truth. You mm -hmm. understand what I'm saying? It's like, I think a lot of these people that's in the game now, that's on YouTube, that's on MySpace, that's on Twitter, they would never fuck with the game if they understood that it's really not like that. For every... For every Hundred people that come in the game, a half of them succeed. Like not half, a half of a person succeed. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So damn near 0.5 percent succeed out of every hundred percent. Yeah. Out of every hundred people. Let me not say percent. 0.5 percent succeed. And that's a fucked up number. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like if people understood that, they wouldn't look at the game the same way because a lot of these dudes that's in the game is in it for money, not for the love of music. So it, it's it's different. When, and I was speaking to my man, I know he won't have a problem me saying it, but I was speaking to my man Billy Dan's from, you know, M.O.P. M.O.P. Me and him was talking yesterday, and he told me, like, some shit that I ain't never thought about, but it's, it's real. He said the game is fucked up now because a lot of these dudes who feel like they big men in the music game, they grew up in the music game. So they learned how to become men doing music. You understand what I'm saying? Instead of becoming a man on your own and then Getting transitioning into over into music. You understand? So it's like... How can you expect a man to be a man when he don't even know how to be a man because he grew up in this music game and all his all his morals and ethics was learned under this fucked up music industry? You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Bullshit. Like, like, my thing is, the music game isn't made up of people who do what they say and say what they do. All right. It's made up of people who tell you they yes you to death mm -hmm. in order to make themselves look bigger. Like, yeah, I got you, my nigga. We gonna, <laughs> like, that's the worst line in the world to me. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, my thing, I don't give a fuck what you say. I care, all I care about is what you do. Yeah. If you tell me you're gonna do something, you can tell me you're gonna give me a million dollars tomorrow. You're not still not gonna be my man until that until that wire transfer comes through. <laughs> yeah. You understand what I'm trying to yeah, tell understood. you? Understood, I understand completely. So that's man. you know, I know I went around the whole block with this answer. No, nah, but it, it, it makes but, sense. Right, but this music game is fucked up because of those reasons. If we had legitimate people in power to to lead people in the right direction, the game would be so much better. Mm -hmm. Like don't like I tell all anybody watching like all the new little kids want to get into the game or even the adults that want to get into the game It's not what it looks like you see those videos with the speed boats and the bitches and the cars and that's cool That's a video half of that shit is borrowed half of that is rented. Yeah. You know what I'm saying the label wants their money back <laughs> Bottom line recoup right if all y'all know what recoup means go look it up yeah. Because that's a word that I didn't understand until about three years in the game mm. So, you know what I mean? Like, once people understand the game, it'll start to weed out the fucked up people from the people who really want to be here. Understood. You know what I'm saying? A, a real, because you know, when I when I intro you, you was chilling back in the cut, you say, you know, you're just enjoying the situation, you, yeah. you're giving yourself an offense, a real person. How would you like to compound what Austin has just said in terms of the music situation? I mean, if, if, you, if you notice, honestly, everything he was saying, it goes back to just being a loyal person, man. Yeah. Say what you want. Say what you want to say, man, but just your actions speak louder than words. You dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I mean, that's how I leave it, man, because I mean, we've been through some situations and I ain't putting nobody's name out there because we ain't trying to come off like that. You feel me? But they see the interview and they know who it's directed to. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You tell us you're going to do something, do it. Bottom line. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because at the end of the day, I'm not saying I want to just punch you in your face because you ain't do what you said. Yeah. It's the yeah. principle. You disrespecting me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Bottom line, that's what it is. Like, if you're going to do something, because if I tell you I'm going to do something for you, even if I can't do it, I'm inform you. I'm not gonna wait until it's time for that transaction and then just turn my back on you. Because right. you know, you you've had you've Who had you've had you know <laughs> music on on radio, singles yeah. on the radio, major singles, BDS spins, everything. You've gotten checks for that. So what made you want to take that internet route as opposed to like you know you could you could call them favorites, but what made you want to take that route? Because 
people move faster with pressure and the internet is that is that tool to apply pressure. You the know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. So it's like I could call in favors, but people don't move as fast when it comes to favors. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Mm-hmm. You know how that go, man. In any I'm, part, in any point of life, call somebody in your family and ask them to do your favor. See how long it takes. But you know they, they. But when they hear the song out, they'll do quicker. Of course, yeah. of yeah. course. So that's like that's like the DJs. When mm-hmm. the DJs go online and they can't dodge Crash Crew, they they go to this website to see they see Crash. Yeah. They go to this website to see yeah. Crash. They go here, they see Crash. They go to this station, they hear Crash. Then they like, wait a minute. Let me jump in before I seem like I'm on the bandwagon. Mm-hmm. So the internet was like. You can't do anything right now without using the internet. Yeah. You know for them dudes that be like, yo, I ain't really into the computer shit, I ain't fucking with that. They gonna be the ones at the bottom of the totem pole. Food. Food, Food. Yeah. easy. Mm-hmm. But we understood, or I say we, cause we all understood the power of the internet. Yeah. Whether it be the MySpaces, the World Stars, the Twitters, the Facebooks, mm-hmm. the, the On Smashes, mm-hmm. the Global Grinds, the All Hip Hops, the <sighs> Hip Hop game, like the list goes on forever. Yeah. So if there's if there's 30, 40,000 websites that you need to touch and you're not at least getting if you're not at least getting a third of that or a quarter of that, then you fucking up. What's, I definitely got it before we go any further. Shout out to my man Success Jay. Damn. Yeah, man. he's putting work. Let me tell you something. Let me right. tell you something. If <laughs> any y'all, <laughs> if any y'all dudes out there, man, y'all y'all got a little bit of bread to spend and you want somebody to promote your your, your shit online, yeah. there's no better dude in the game by himself. I'm not talking about with a team, because a lot of people got a team by himself. Mm-hmm. Holler success, Jay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything you see us on online, nine out of ten times, he set it up. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So, get yourself a success, Jay, man. That's my, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get yourself a success, Jay, and call me in the morning, man. Drinking my cup, blunts light them up. I'm thinking outside the margin. All I need is a second, I'm on it. Not for real, stop playing. I'm True Stories, the radio. Come on, man. 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 Come